for the Bible says dead and life lies under the power of your tongue. Healing and sickness lies under the power of your tongue. Coming to church by taxi lies under the power of your tongue. Renting in a one room lies under the power of your tongue. Coming to church without the Holy Ghost lies under the power. You tell God you want the Holy Ghost. You tell God you want the Holy Ghost and he'll give you the Holy Ghost. You tell God you want a refilling and he will refill you with the Holy Ghost. You tell God you want a revival. You say amen to the revival. You shout hallelujah. You shout hallelujah. You shout hallelujah. You shout hallelujah. You shout hallelujah there. You shout hallelujah. Father, let the fire fall. Father, let the Holy Ghost come and minister the needs of your children now. You can start indicating now. I'm turning left. Release it. Release it. Release it. Come on, church. Come on, church. You want a baby? Release. Yes, you are almost there now. Keep on going. You are almost there now. You are almost there now. You are getting there now. You are getting there now. The house you are praying for is not very far. It's not very far. I'm telling you. The Holy Ghost is telling me that it's not very far. You are holding it as you are holding your amens. When Gabriel came and he stood before Mary there, he said, you are highly favored. She was already chosen. She was already highly favored among all women. And she was already pronounced blessed among all women. She was already told you are going to have a son. All that was already said. And she was holding the conception by holding her. Amen. So she said, how can these things be? Seeing I know not a man. Then the angel said, the Holy Ghost will overshadow me. And that power of the highest who come upon. The moment she say, let it be unto me according to thy word. Conception. Right there. Let it be unto me according to thy word. The moment you say that, that's when you take conception of your desire. I'm done with that devil. I'm done with that evil spirit. I now understand why you don't have a job. Amen. So you can help yourself by releasing that amen. What do you want? 
one what? Can you say amen? Amen. Can you say, let it be unto me according to thy word. Come here, sister. Come here. I give you children. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, one time we were in church, back home, there's a sister who could not have children. So, as I was preaching, I I began to talk about God gives children. God gives, and I was talking to her indirectly. So, somehow, I think I gave a testimony of, yes, I gave a testimony of this other sister who had been wished by her aunt, and she could not have children. So when we were praying, she manifested demons and the aunt began to speak from her. And she began to say, Chidamaso, that's why you see we don't come to your church because we, we know you. So I said, but leave this girl, this woman to have children. And we prayed. You know, the Holy Ghost began to pick one by one what had been done to her. So when I shared that, I, I, I stepped from the pulpit. Then I went to take that baby and lift him in the air and say, you see, this boy, that's how he came. The mother had been wished so that she could not have children. But here he is. Here is the child. So I took that child and I handed over to the barren sister. Then the Holy Ghost struck her and she fell down by the back. And the baby was here and the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, the way the baby is sitting there on her thumb, the child is, will be there. Hand her over the baby. Can you give her the baby? Hand her over the baby. Nurse the baby. Rejoice with the baby. Oh, come on, friends. Don't be slow in how to understand spiritual things are spiritually designed. Come on, church. Are you spiritual here? You didn't see me here dancing and the nursing the baby here. You didn't see me here. What was I doing? You think I was just preaching? You think I'm just telling stories? You think I'm just... Come on, friends. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Sister, dance with the baby. Nest the baby. Rejoice with your baby. And your baby is coming in the name of Jesus Christ. So that sister... When she was laying there on the floor with the baby here, she began to speak in tongues. The power of the Holy Ghost was upon her. The power of the Holy Ghost came upon her. The power of the Holy Ghost is here. 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 Yes, the power of the Holy Ghost has come upon you. The Holy Ghost will overshadow you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I said the power of the Holy Ghost is here. The power of the Holy Ghost is here. The power of the Holy Ghost is in the building. The power of the Holy Ghost. You can catch your conception. Whatever need you have, receive your conception. Whatever desire you have, the power of the Holy Church, I say, the power of the Holy Ghost is here. Thank you, Jesus. You think I'm talking stories here? Yeah. Right now, that sister is pregnant. Right now. The time is almost here.
One time I went to a certain place to preach. There was a sister who was sitting by the window. And she had one son and was trying to have other children. She was failing to take conception. Without using family planning. Then I was walking along the building to come to the pastor's office. As I came straight by the window outside, there was such a presence that went through the window to where she was sitting. And she began to stagger. When I passed, it stopped. So I came to the pastor's office. When the time came for the minister to come to the pulpit, the moment I opened the door there to come to the pulpit, that presence came again by the door and went right straight to where she was sitting. And as I was preaching like that, there were waves of the Holy Ghost that could go. Then after service, I prayed for her. About six months later, we visited the same church. And I saw her with a big turn on. She said, Pastor, the very day that I came for the service and you prayed for me, that's the day that I took conception. Let me read you a quote. Let me read you a quote. The Holy Ghost is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power from the highest will come upon you. And I rebuke that barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ. I condemn it and cast it away. Go and have children. The meetings have started well. And if you are here, sister, you still want more children, I give them to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And now this may just choke you to death. But did you know that men that are sons of God are amateur gods? <laughs> This may choke you to death. But do you know? Did you know that men that are sons of God are amateur gods? How many ever know that? How many know that Jesus said so? The Bible, Jesus said, did you, did your law say itself that you are gods? And if you call them gods, which God said in Genesis 2, that they were gods because they were had full domain domain over the dominion of the world. He gave him dominion over all things and he lost his godship. He lost his sonship. He lost his domain and Satan took it over. But brother we are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God who will come back and take it over again. We are here to take it over again. We are taking it over from where Adam left it. To take it over again. Waiting for the fullness of time. When the pyramid gets up to the top. When the full sons of God will be made manifested. When the power of God will work out. Hallelujah. And will take every power that Satan got away from him. Yes sir. It belongs to him. He is the logos that went out of God. That is true. That was the son of God. Then he made men. If they call those who the word of the Lord came to. The prophets. If they call them gods. Who the word of God came to. And God said so himself. That they were gods. He told Moses. I have made you a god. And made Aaron your prophet. Amen. Whew. Then he says, 